Make them suffer. Alien beings! What is this? Stand back, I'll show you how it's done. Oh, it's a museum. Got it. Cool, cool. I was like, but that looks weird. Uh. <laughs> Look at his little backpack. He gets like progressively more nervous as. Backbend. I like his backbend. He just. <laughs> I can't see you. I can't see you. Or is he bringing this to the emperor? You can't do the pitch. Yeah, it gets high. <laughs> Good morning, my emperor. Oh. No, why would if I you do needed that? help regarding this, why, for the love of all gold-plated plant life on Terra, would I ask you? It would be like looking for advice about depression medication uh. from a precarious obscure addict. If you're as omniscient as you think you are, then you should know how right oh, I am. Oh boy. My experience in the matter does give me a level of expertise. After all, I'm a daemon prince for crying out loud. I'm literally made of warp stuff. One would think that after all the stunts you pulled, you mm -hmm. would have some kind of discretion over the atrocious amount of shittery you have been spewing everywhere. If anyone has the right to say I told you so, then I should have set up a parade with banners and streamers and clowns and whatever else just for you. <laughs> I'm not saying I told you so. I'm just but... saying that you and I both know damn well that you're ridiculously narrow-minded on the matter. It's just the way things are, and you know it. Son, I'm the motherfucking emperor. Yep. I can alter whatever I desire. I am like a glorious golden god. <laughs> but don't call me that. Except I am not, <laughs> of course. And look where your meddling has gotten you. Oh, in addition, aren't you the one who said you didn't hmm. want to play god? That is my spirit coming straight from the vile war vent of a fucking demon prince. Oof. Do you know, there is a difference between actually having the powers and distinguished looks of a god and wanting to be worshipped as one. Um, good morning, you two. <laughs> oh boy. I know you're busy studying each other with word ships right now, but... About guard smacking time you got here. Where is T, Sonny? You just... Well, I was disintegrated by yep. a warp bolt when I walked into your room. Yep. Damn you, Magnus. Your unregulated uh -huh. psychic powers have caused yet another disaster. Me? I thought he threw You're it. the decaying force of nature who literally defecates warp <laughs> storms whenever he tantrums. Yeah, Magnus has the daddy issues. Ah, too much heresy. <laughs> he brought it with him this time. <laughs> yes, they all have them. Poll results are in the Discord. Well, that okay. is what I pay you for, up. isn't it? What does pay mean? But, um, yes. What are you two arguing about? My senile old bone sack of a father oh, gosh. is almost as deluded <laughs> as his foolish warshippers. He truly believes that chaos is nothing more than an utterly negative force which needs uh, to be destroyed. In all my 48,000 kind of years, I have not had much inclination to the contrary. Yeah. Almost every single thing wrong with mankind is the fault of chaos. It's gods and their worshippers. If only humanity had listened to me and ignored chaos and all the arm wavy religious crap, we would be well on the way to perfecting humanity as a species and I would be way less spooky looking. Wait, so you're not <laughs> arguing about what happened yesterday? The whole sending the entire Inquisition to the wall and the convolution... Oh, that was yesterday? Wow. No, we finished arguing about that hours ago. Were you not paying attention? No, he just came in with a T. And yeah. you took your sweet ass time doing that? Did you Yeah, because you were fighting. What were you doing? Trying to be all cheery cherry cream puff or something? Maybe? You scare me when you pretend to have emotions. So what did you decide on? <laughs> None of you are concerned. Corn cob. It oh, will all so be mean. resolved so at rude. a later date. Oh, okay. Back to the Bucci Branigan at hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. Uh, well, yeah. Half the Primarchs had daddy issues. He was he. Yeah, he was a bad father. He wasn't very good. Um, 
Oh, custodians is a permanent unpaid internship. I would say it's a permanent unpaid job. That's it's not an internship that like uh, the internship. Like, I think it assumes you're being trained throughout the process. <laughs> Where were we? You mentioned how you tried telling humanity to throw religions at a window, and ironically to never question you about it. Was it my turn to grumble or yours? I guess it's your turn to grumble. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That's a chuckle. What is so funny? Chuckle should s <laughs> I thought we were grumbling here. Your great intellect really must be splintered. I have no reason to lie to you, so before you spew that whole noise of the heretic drivel at me... <laughs> I am not some crazed old zealot from the first Dark Ages, son. Do you know how I feel about overuse of such terminology? Haven't you noticed what a spectacular comeback that word has made as of late? <laughs> <laughs> you have sullied your hands with filthy pockets. Oh, I love this. <gasps> how do you... Wait, this is where this is from? Oh my gosh, I've seen other shorts for this before. But I've never seen this whole thing. Oh my gosh, I love this. I... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes! That's so funny, because I didn't know. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. You have sullied your hands with filthy parchments of heresy, guardsmen. How do you plead? What? No. Too late, heretic. <laughs> you inspire your men to study such foul smut, Commissar? You heretic! Detestable mutants fill your heads with such vile obscenity! Die, heretic! Maybe oh my just gosh. One read. Sister, I need your blood to the. Oh, hold on. You're a heretic! <laughs> you know what? They're just running around shooting each other down there. Better just lay the exterminators. Oh my gosh. Alright, fire! I never knew that that was the button. Chad, it's the button. I didn't know this was part of TTS. That's so funny. I had no idea. YouTube is going off. Let me, let, let us. Let me, let, let's do this right. Oh my gosh. I had no clue. There we go. There we go, chat. There we go. We're going to watch this whole thing again and we're going to have the button full screen. Keep it dust. Come on. All right, fuck! We're gonna watch the whole thing with the button. Haven't you noticed what a spectacular Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I had no idea. <laughs> Holy cow, YouTube is like on fire right now. You have sullied your hands with filthy parchments of heresy, guardsmen. How do you plead? What? what? No. Too late, heretic. <laughs> Fire your men to study such foul smut, Commissar? You heretic! Ow. Detestable mutants fill your heads with such vile obscenity! Die, heretic! Maybe just one read. Sister, I need your blood to the. Oh, hold on. You're a heretic! Yay! You know what? They're just running around shooting each other down. Better just lay the exterminatus upon these heretics. Alright, fire! Yeah! Okay. Okay, I'm going to grab my model really fast. Can we can we do this? <laughs> can I what oh yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Here we go. I never rotate my model because I never need to. I'm gonna move the button a little bit. Oh no, not that. I want the button. The button. There it is. There it is, chat. Oh, I the button is... I may put the button... Where is my VTuber capture? It needs to move up here in front of everything. I'll make myself a little bit bigger. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. My screen. <laughs> Slide over here. There we go. Bop, 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 bop. Happy. 
I had no idea. I, I now I understand why people are like you pre-watch this. I'm like, no, I had no idea. Just the button, just the button. Beautiful, beautiful. We love this button. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> I'm having the best time ever. The best time. Just the button is going to be full screen for the rest of this. Let me see if I can get myself up to there we go. The right size. Yay! We're very happy. Mm. <laughs> I will make the button extra big for the rest of this stream. You are welcome, chat. Thank you. I'm so glad we watched this one. I had no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I, I had no idea, and I'm very happy that we discovered this together. Let me make this a tiny bit smaller so I can still read everything. But we're going to make it nice and big in the corner up here. <laughs> I'm so glad you liked it, chat. I love it. So there we go. There is button. And we'll go back to Google. And do the rest of it. So this was the best. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go back and watch it again. Not the whole thing, I promise. All right, fire! <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, do not get me started. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. You see, chaos, <gasps> all of that isn't just some demonic realm of nasty, horrible things. It's much more important than that. I know this already. Its true nature is that it is the realm of the collective spiritual subconscious of every single soul possessing species in the galaxy. In other words, the realm of souls. Sorry. Right. And it is shit, and requires some serious unfucking. <laughs> and this is where the senile ramblings come back in. <sighs> Let me say something I learned while reading all those forbidden tomes with you. Do you remember back when you told humanity that there would be no gods? Uh, you said no religion, no worshipping of anything, and thus you figured the chaos gods would become completely irrelevant and thus starve to death, right? Yes, mm -hmm. which is exactly what I wanted, and almost what happened. I don't know if it would have got away. inadvertently creating a whole new chaos god. Yeah. Wait. Come again? Because it was not worshipped in the conventional way, it's... So... Was it already, were they already alluding that there was another chaos god being made before the end, they, before the end and the death? Because I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't know because I didn't read a lot of the books prior to the end and the death. So, eh, no idea. His name never became revealed to mankind, but you were creating a chaos god of unbelief. And you will become its champion, perhaps even its avatar. That has got to be the single dumbest thing I have ever heard in my entire life. And that is coming from a half-deaf skeleton that has been stuck on a life-sustaining god couch for the past 10,000 years. Well, believe it or not, that's what was happening. You see, Chaos isn't some Saturday morning cartoon villain that you can just defeat. It's a force <laughs> of reality itself, and the more you try to control and restrain it, the more it will act against you. It's a reflection of those who empower it, who in turn it empowers. Just as gravity dictates how objects are pulled towards each other and energy condenses into matter and form, so too does chaos function as yet another celestial process. You should know and accept that by now. That is all well and true, but that does not make it not dangerous. Stupid, dangerously stupid, and stupidly dangerous. <laughs> you should also know and accept by now that things which are factually correct can still be unfathomably idiotic. Well, I suppose you're right in that sense. Ever since Slanesh was murder fucked into existence, <laughs> things have kinda got out of hand. Hands off my quips, chili pepper. Get your own. <laughs> Can I possibly ask something? You are paid by the hour, not by the question. Right, but if what Magnus is saying is true, which it is, and the warp is a reflection of the subconsciousness of all mankind, mm -hmm. does that mean we're all horrible, terrible, awful people? On the inside, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we all suck, but it's because it happens on like a super mass, insane scale. Like there's billions upon billions of human beings oh also thank you for the no eyes and horn spoilers <laughs> i appreciate that i need to add that to my chat rules oh and yes i uh okay that's good to know that they were um they were teasing about stuff before the end of the death that is good to know very good to know yes absolutely disgusting 
I am outside of that cycle, you see. Because so I'm it does perfect. not apply to me, because, do you know, I am pretty much perfect and all that. <laughs> I am so real. <laughs> I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. I'm so sorry. You get to hear my goblin-like shrieks. Yeah, I also suck. Guaranteed, yes. Everyone sucks. I suck too. <laughs> yeah, I suck. Don't worry. I I'm not saying just chat sucks. No. <laughs> that, or I used to be anyway, when I still had good old boners done. But yes, this is why I have been trying to guide mankind all this time. <laughs> Humanity gets to collectively create its own realm with their subconscious thoughts, and you fill it with paranoia, fear, blood, Brussels sprouts, and self-contradictory bullshit. It is like you are all mindless men children, scribbling dicks in your no books when you should be paying attention to the lessons that I am trying to fucking teach you. Those students and you have perfectly synergetic personalities for the record. Oh. Now I feel terrible about myself. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, don't feel terrible about yourself. Yes, you should reflect on what you have done as a person, but make active attempts to be better. If you just think, oh man, I suck all the time, you're not going to get better. And you can, you can improve. You can, you can do so many things. You just got to focus on getting better. Don't compare yourself to other people. Compare to how you were yesterday. No, stop. You don't suck all the time. You don't. You think about the good things you've done in your life. So think about that. You can, you can improve and you can be better. You look at your day critically and you say, hey, what did I do so well? And you take it, you figure out the lesson you can learn from it, and you go from there. Yeah. Yes, I am. Mm. Are you saying I'm a psyker custodian? Mm. That's a theory. <laughs> I'm just really good at guessing plots. Like, I kid you not, before I started doing this, I, I am very good at guessing plots in movies and things, so... Let's keep going. We're only nine minutes Good. in. That is a step in the right direction. But I don't understand. If the warp is the realm of souls, then how do psychers work? Mm. Are they using witchcraft and demonic rituals to attain unholy power? Not necessarily. To the ignorant and untrained no. eye would certainly seem so. However, it's actually much simpler than that. Some people have a natural mm -hmm. ability to channel the warp's power more than others, just like how some people have other genetically determined talents or abilities. Since a warp is based on the power of emotions, one can use this ability to channel their own willpower yes. and bend the world around us. Just as we change the shape of the warp with our own minds, so too does the warp allow those talented enough to change reality. Whoop, 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 whoop. What did I say about fireballs <laughs> in the throne room? Yes, yes, I need to ask you first. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. That is better. As I was saying, the stronger your connection to the warp, the stranger you become in the eyes of others. This may make you feel incredibly lonely and ostracized, <laughs> but don't worry. As a psycho, you're never alone. You've, You've got, got warp demons whispering into your ears. attention from demons and the like to keep you company in those cold, dark nights. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Suffice to say, this, combined with the fact that possessions are a thing, is the primary reason why psychos are usually yeah. seen as horrid witches that need killings. Because the more you mess with the warp, the more likely it can like get into you and corrupt you and make you bad. Screw improving for yourself. Improve to stick it to the chaos gods. Hey, as long as you're improving yourself, in like, and and uh, strive for good goals. Let me add that. Don't improve yourself and do bad things with it. Ah, well, that does explain something. It means I'm definitely not a psyker after all. Wait, what about the great enemies of man? How does all of this explain the dark gods, demons, and all mm. that? Have you ever heard the saying, we all have our own personal demons? Yes. Think about that phrase, and take into account what Magnus mm. just said about the warp. Now apply the resulting realization to the entire population yeah. of the galaxy. Yeah, pretty bad. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's worse than simply being a hellish realm, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, little gold sparkle is much, yep. much more than that. Every single thought or feeling you've ever had, both consciously and subconsciously, becomes reality in the warp. 
every single human emotion. Are they going to show us cursed Fabstodies memories, or are we going to see some memories about Kitten's uh, non-canon relationship? Anyways, I, I'm really, I'm really worried because they just said, they just said like every thought you've ever had, and I can totally see something being really bad. Becomes a power. Every single metaphor becomes a little oh, meaning. Boy. Everyone's wishes, dreams, desires, fears, and nightmares are oh. incarnated. Of course, the reason the warp is so corrosive and horrifying is because so many conflicting and contradicting ideas are floating around yeah. inside of it. And the gods yeah. are, in fact, collective subconscious constructs that reflect crucial mental aspects of all oh, life. No. Daemons are shards of their respective gods, much like individual cells make up an organism. If that's true, then why are they so, you know, completely... Oh, thanks for the bits. We can't all be 100% evil all the time, can we? Of course not. Something which people seem to forget, including the gods themselves, is that they represent all thoughts and emotions, the good, the bad, and the ugly. For example, Zinch may be a cruel and devious trickster, but he's also a force of progress and a beacon of hope. If you say so, if you say so, if you say. <laughs> so, so, oh, so Santa Claus is reality in the warp. That's what someone on YouTube said. That's a possibility. Ooh. Wait, have I predicted more great things? Excellent. This is fantastic. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Hope. Change, after all, is neither innately benevolent or malevolent, but it sure is shitling isn't the same as it was before. <laughs> this sounds like propaganda. Well, you know it is true. Without Zinx, there would be no malicious schemes, but there would also be no one clever enough to save people from those schemes. Nothing would ever get done, and we would fall into a uh, I don't karma. like that. And that is what Nurgle represents. Stagnancy. A lack of change. Inevitable Ooh. eternal cycles of decay and renewal. But he also represents the resilience, resolve, and solidarity to face those same I don't know. inevitabilities. I'm In not short, sure about if that. if everything is shit, why worry about it? That is why his followers are so disturbingly, insufferably uh, cheerful even when most uh, of their entrails are on the wrong side of uh, their ribcage. Without Gross. Nurgle, there would be no consistency, safety, or comfort in living and dying. In oh, yeah. fact, there would be no consistency at all. All those cycles of decaying renewal are just the circle of life. In fact, Nurgle is technically nature incarnate. Ew, no, I don't know. I don't is, know if I like this, this theory. Really to be honest, even taking into consideration that this is about as batshit fucking crazy <laughs> as Conrad Curse, all of this about the gods is actually correct. He is still being an ass barrel, though. I don't like they it. Both are. I'm not gonna argue that. I was referring to you. Haha. <laughs> What about the others? If Zinch is progress and Nurgle is nature, then what the hell are the other two meant to be? What possible purpose could they have besides creating massively unnecessary amounts of death and suffering? Well, corn may be a force of merciless, mindless slaughter and hatred, but that's because it prescribes to another natural concept, survival of the fittest. Strength and skill are all that matters to him. Yeah, lift those weights. It also weights. represents justice, vengeance, and honor, so unlike the others, corn would never try to trick you and stab you in the back. He will just stab you in the face, over and yep. over again, until your face- I don't- oh, thank you, Roy, for the bits. I don't know if it got retconned, but yes, the Chaos Gods are quote-unquote evil, just because the warp was corrupted by war and ill thoughts of the universe. Hmm. It's still not my favorite theory. <laughs> that's just me, that's just me! He stops resembling a face. Without him, there would be no honesty, no strength to fight against injustice. And speaking of injustice, yeah. maybe a horrifying, cruel, oh, torturous gosh. fiend that breaks minds and inflicts on to suffering, but he... No, stop he, it! It also exudes just as much joy, freedom, and expression, and happiness. Because hello, hello, someone has got to be enjoying your pain <laughs> and agony, after all. I it's can't. ironic, yet it makes sense. Sun Ash has formed from the extremes of emotional experience, representing both joyful freedom as well as crippling suffering. Without Slanesh, there would be no happiness and no grief to make those happy times mean anything. And that's why you can't just kill them. The universe needs chaos to survive. Uh, Destroying chaos basically destroy the no. entirety of the human psyche. And that is where you fall into the pit of objective incorrectness, you pile of bratwursts. I can't defeat chaos, and I must, for the good of us all, I accept 
that what you say is true, oh. Magnus, but I must bring peace to humanity and the entire galaxy. And so long as chaos exists in its current state, this goal will never be achieved. I must defeat those four giant floating reality tumors. Oh really? Well do enlighten me and explain how you're going to d <sighs> You're going to say, I can't tell you now, but you'll <laughs> see and understand all in good time, aren't you? You did not need telepathy for that, no. now did you? No, I'm just used to hearing that kind of thing by now. I'm I know it is it, not yeah. what you want to hear. After all we have been through, but my son, I cannot tell you now. I will tell you when the time is right. Oh boy. Understood. Didn't you say that no curtains were to cover up your plans for the future this time around? No, seriously. If I told you this, it would totally ruin the surprise. Ooh. Not to mention the risks involved. Is it a good surprise? Uh, well, alright. But just for this one occasion. Just once. Thanks, son. Just trust me this time, and do not let a flying space octopus convince you to turn on us all again. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe don't okay. do that. Okay. So okay, Dad, I'm this, sorry. Why do you fall in chaos at all? And being all demonic and stuff? How does that work for you anyway? To answer the less personal question first, daemon princes are always former members of a soul-bearing species who have had their soul removed by a chaos god and replaced with a humongous mass Oof. of warp energy. This turns their bodies intangible and charges them with infernal power, basically turning. Okay. Thank you, uh. I don't know how to say your name. Magnus is right, but he is also a bit off. All the chaos gods are unbalanced towards the extreme negative side of the warp and became unstable. And it's because of the Eldari's fault. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, by the way. That's pretty accurate. Make them into a daemon. These kind of surgeries should be universally illegalized. Anyone or anything that undergoes this process must have great amounts of willpower to retain any of their personality. If they don't, they become mindless chaos bombs. Yeah. If they succeed and survive the process, well, it's hard to explain. Since warp energy is basically just raw, undiluted, and unrefined soul stuff, it serves roughly the same purpose as a soul, with the benefit of being way more powerful at the expense of being way less stable. It actually takes quite a bit of effort for me to retain this humanoid form right now. Oh yeah, I remember what your true form looks like now. I bet looking like that makes you feel really proud of yourself. Dad, we agreed not to talk <laughs> about that. About what? Nothing! Not a thing! Nothing at all! Oh, oh. this was the less personal question? <sighs> Changing the subject, now that I have my soul bag, I feel hmm. weird. I guess I'm some kind of... Half demon now. Oh, I would edgy. laugh at how silly and full of angst that idea sounds <laughs> if it were not for it being true. Man, Actually, if I had said angst, it, I will laugh anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, as for your other question, I didn't know all of this information at first, meaning I couldn't make informed decisions back then. I mean, it's not exactly common knowledge. For some reason, <laughs> who, I who, only how? learned after it was too late to turn <laughs> back. As for why I didn't try to change my ways, to be honest, I'm not even sure myself anymore. I didn't think there was a way out, I didn't know where I Oof. stood or whose side I was on anymore. From my experience, I'm not sure there were or even are sides to take. I felt, and still feel, betrayed by everyone I trusted, but I also felt like I was betraying myself. Whatever side you Oof. took seems to have edges so sharp you could cut through power armor with them. Very funny, you sparkly skeleton showcase. You needed a hand making that one up? Good effort. Keep trying. Because yeah. I like where you were going with that. It had movement and progression. One day you will get a good one, yes. and we will laugh incessantly. Oh, I'm waiting. I can't wait. Whatever, father. At least Whatever, you should know Dad. where you stand by now. I hope after everything we have done, and everything I have said, that you realize that you can trust in me again, even if it is just... Just a tiny little bit. Eh, maybe. To be honest, we can argue until you turn pale and my right hand fucks off to wherever the left <laughs> hand went. But at the end of the day, you are still my son. Even if you look like you are straight out of a rebellious gang that mugs old ladies. Oof. I am Oof. just glad that you are finally admitting you do not know shit. <laughs> That's, the That's the first step. That's the first step. I, someone did a study. I don't uh, remember who did the study, but the hardest words for people to say, like in the English language, or just is "I don't know." The hard, the three like most dif like the most difficult phrase to say is "I don't know." So it's okay. Admit you don't know. 
do the same. We'll see, we'll do see. not bet on it. Who knew ho 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 who ho 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 who ho 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 Well at least you're not violently arguing anymore. How about some tea? Count me. Yes, I have some tea. How would you even drink it? Emperor. That is not you say that using your powers for trivial things is agony? Using my powers at all is agony. Yeah. But sometimes it's just too fucking funny not to. <laughs> using cosmic powers to drink tea. That's certainly the father I remember. Oh, you. Say, here is another 100% beneficial way to yeah. make good use of my powers. Making fun of Magnus? <laughs> Who is this? I've located the Astronomicon. But what is it? Is its signature faint? No. Yeah. It's, it's flipping me the bird. Navigator, how the fifth can a giant holy space beacon <laughs> flip you the bird? Bruh. <laughs> oh no. No, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop. No. Gosh. It, it must be a Thursday. <laughs> that was absolutely splendid, Father. You bet. Splendid. Oh, splendid, Father. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay.